All right, guys, this is part, this is the final part. I have 33 minutes on my phone, so I can talk for you. I have enough time to, uh, to talk for this part. So this is a three-part video, guys. You guys will enjoy the show in a couple hours from now. I don't know, around 7 o'clock around there, I'll upload this video. 8 o'clock, you guys will watch this video. Right now, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. So once I'm done this video, I will, I will enjoy the show on my TV, obviously. And then and you guys will watch it a couple hours later. That's what I'm going to keep saying. Well, you better enjoy this listening to Chris Weiser Kang, guys. All you Hollywood actors who love my videos, obviously, and you're excited for my Skysys comedy, you can see the future. You know how much my comedy will be. You better enjoy this series of watching, guys. Once I'm king, I'm not making any rules for you guys either. You're going to be left behind. You chose to do this evil to me and my wife, and you're also going to pay due. When I'm king, you're not saved. You're left behind. You're bad for my glory. You're, you're going to feel like shit, and you're going to be a side tension in Hollywood. You, you guys are going to cry, man, because you, 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 you now feel the price of being left behind and bad for my glory. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to be saved. You're going to be left behind. I'm saying that. So going back to Peter. So Peter will help me with those main six things. That's it. So the hotel party, the red carpet event, the IMS cameras, the code for the cameras, the costumes, arm, and weapons, the machine for the mask. Well, the machine for the mask is part of the costumes, arm, and weapons, right? Because cost mass is obviously part of costumes. And I'm thinking, Peter will ask me, Ivan, what are you thinking of for the for, for the mask for the wolves and the bats? I'm thinking something like that animal picture, Peter. And I show him the picture, that way he knows. Yeah, you know, yeah, Peter, I'm thinking of, of the wolves and bats wearing a costume like this. Oh, I think that's pretty smart. Yeah, they'll, 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 they'll look very natural. They look like demons. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Remember that animal picture I showed you, Peter? Remember that picture I showed you? And remember world the picture I showed you? Remember that picture, guys? Like um, uh, back when back in my old miscellaneous series, and, 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 and remember that animal picture I showed you in my miscellaneous series? Yeah, think of something like that for the mask for air, for the wolves and the bats. Looking at except three times scarier than those than that than that demon. They're the devils, man. The wolves and bats will look very, very natural, like the wolves in Lord of the Rings. They'll look, they'll look very natural, but they'll look, they'll, but they're three times scarier than the orcs in Lord of the Rings. They won't look computerly like the orcs in The Hobbit. No, they're gonna look natural, but they're demons. They're three times scarier than the orcs in Ring Race and Lord of the Rings. You know how the Ring Race looks? You know how the Ring Race look very natural in 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 in, in, in Lord of the Rings? Yeah, think of something like that. They look natural like the Ring Race and Lord of the Rings, except they're demons. They're devils. Remember that scene in Fellowship of the Ring? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. When Fro and them are in the tower, obviously. He's like, put it out, you fools. And Frodo gets stabbed by the uh, by the ringmates, obviously. Remember that, that that music? And you see Frodo and the hobbits are turning their heads in a circle. And Frodo sees the the, 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 the shadow of the ringwraith approaching. You know what I'm saying? And, he's, and all the hobbits turn their heads. They see they see the, the ringwraiths approaching. You know what I'm saying? They're, they approach all the hobbits. You're like, holy shit, that's freaky. Yeah, well, think of something three times scarier than that for Aerotat and the Wolves. They're, they're walking demons and devils, man. They're fucking scary. Yeah, man. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. I want to rent the best mat. Hey, Peter, do you know the best the best company in the world that creates the best 3D print mats? Yeah, I, mean, I know all the best. Peter's like, yeah, I, mean, I know. I know. I know everything. I know all the best companies in Hollywood because he produced movies. Yeah, I, mean, I know all the best companies in Hollywood. I'm shocked. I'm like, holy shit, Peter Jackson knows his shit. He knows all the best cameras and all the best CGI. Yeah, I, I, I know everything. I produced Lord of the Rings. I produced The Hobbit. I was also boss in the movie. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I know I know all the best companies in America, Ivan. And Peter Jackson helps me. That's why he's, he's that's why I'm giving him full power. For my movie. That way Peter Jackson takes that stress. Because I, even though I, I know a little about the entertainment industry, I've never, I've never been in the biggest movie before. I've never directed a movie before. I'm creative, obviously. But like Peter Jackson is going to take that stress off me, man. Because he knows he knows everything about about the film about the film business. Because he worked in Hollywood, he's a powerful director in Hollywood. He knows, yeah, I I, I know everything about, about about the film stuff in Hollywood, man. He's like, yeah, I mean, this, this this is the best camera. You know what I'm saying? He would buy we rent the best cameras. Also, we rent the best drones, best equipment, gliding equipment, gliding stands. You know what I'm saying we we what? We rent the best machine for for the for, for, for custom making the costumes, the best tools for 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 the armored weapons for white workshop. The best machining for the mass, to create the thousands of masks for the wolf, for the animal characters and the extras. Yeah, we get to get rent the best. We're gonna have to rent a lot of uh, machines though. If, if you if you want if you want to if you want if you want to if you want to what you want to create thousands of masks for the extras, obviously, and all. Then you did uh, what? We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to rent like good like four or five machines, 
big machines that, that 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 can make a couple hundred masks a day. That way they can pull off making like because the people are gonna have to make masks for for Aratat the and his wolf army, Ephesus and his bat army. The people are gonna have to make a good like what. Like, and also, you also have the civilians. I'll have a good, like, 5,000. To save money, I can have a good 5,000 civilians in, Zay in, in in Barak. That's enough. You can just add the CGI effects to save money. Okay, you can have a 25,000 wolf army, and you have the 5,000 civilians who don't fight. But the members of the Aritat's army, who, Aritat's army of wolves who fight are also civilians, too. You see what I'm saying? They're also civilians too, but 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 they're also they're also a part of the army. But you also have five thousand civilians around there. I don't describe how much civilians there are in the book. All I know, if you read it carefully, there are civilians in Barak, obviously, but I don't describe how much civilians they are. I can tell Peter, okay, Peter, we can have a good five thousand if it's to save money, ten thousand's a bit too much, it'll cost us more money. We can have five thousand civilians, women, children, and, and men in the wolves who don't fight. That's why the people the, the people who are going to be creating the mass officers are going to have to create a good, like, 30, like, 1,000 mass around there for the wolves. 1,000 mass for the for the bats, and, like, 30,000 mass for the wolves, man. Something crazy. They can pull it off. If, 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 you, if I rent, like, four machines, you can easily pull off making 30,000 mass. If, if, if the machine, if, if the machine can make a good, like, 200 mass a day around there, you can easily pull off making 30,000 mass. Easy, easily. I'm gonna have Peter ask the uh, people. Okay, okay, we want we're, we're, we're gonna need to create tens of thousands of masks. Okay, how much masks do you want to make, uh, Peter? I don't know. We want to make a good thirty-one thousand masks. Okay, you're gonna have to rent a couple machines for that, Peter. You know what I'm saying? And you know how much machines? I don't know. You're gonna need to rent a good like four or five machines. We can give you a deal, Ivan and Peter, for a good like for a good three hundred thousand dollars. We can, you can rent the four for the four the four machines. We rent the best machines, and they for creating the best masks, the best machines in the world. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent, man. We're creating the best mask for for, 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 for the wolves. But they, they not only have to create the mask, they also have to create the, uh, the what? The costume, too. Obviously, it's a lot of work, man. Yeah, man. The costumes, too. Yeah, man. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, man. It's a lot of work, man. But they can pull it off. They can pull it off. Creating the mass is simple because 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 the machine does all the work for you. The machine, the the, 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 the machine, the machine does all prints all the mass. It does all the work for you. It's it's doable, obviously. Whereas whereas a, the costumes and armor that 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 I don't think Weta Workshop can pull off making like twenty five thousand weapons. They can't pull that off. That's too much. That's crazy. But they can probably make a couple a couple thousand armor and weapons. And then the rest, I'll just, I'll just, we'll just call a company. We rent all the armor for for the extras, and you just have the uh, the special people adding the CGI for the extras for the armor. You can easily do that, obviously, and you just rent rent weapons. Call a tall much company. Hey, you want to rent? You want to rent what? We want to rent like 20,000 20, swords, spikes, and axes. We call all these companies around the world. We rent a bunch of stuff or buy it. If we buy it, you can have the extras keep keep the weapons, or you can rent it. Rent the rent the weapons. He goes, yeah, Ivan, yeah, Ivan, if, if, if Water Worship can't pull off making 25,000 armor and, and, and armor, and if the costumes irons can't pull off making, what, thousands, tens of thousands of clothes, obviously, we can just rent it from, from uh, rent medieval clothes from a top notch company. It's easy, e easy doable. Because the actors, you don't really, they, you, you don't really have to worry about their clothing. Because they're background actors, and they're not the main focus of, of, of the shot. Whereas the main actors, you have to custom make all that, man, because they're, 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 they're in the main scenes, man. Whereas the actors, you can just call a rent, rent to the top, call a medieval company, rent, rent, buy a bunch of clothes, have them wear, and they can easily blend in as Southerns and Zanes. Not a problem, seems saying, here. Not a problem at all. So Peter Jackson will help me with those main six things, I believe, and that's it. It helped me sign, uh, okay, Peter, sometime this year, I want to fly in. Okay, Peter, you know you know the extra people for the Lord. I, I know all those guys. Okay, I'm going to have my secretaries give them a call. I want to fly those guys in the first year because I need them. I need, I'm going to fly them to Switzerland in the second year, and they're going to have to do the signups for all the extras. We need to do the signs years in advance for all the extras that are going to be my movie. Tim Zayer. And 40 people. Yeah, I mean, 40 people is enough. Yeah, 40 people to handle them is enough. Hire 40 people to handle all those extras. And they're going to have to give all the extras their cards. So I'm, I'm going to have to. 
No, yeah, I'm gonna have my team make the calls. I'm gonna have my team make the calls for a company. They're gonna have to design the Sky Source gift card. The Sky Source card. I'm gonna tell my engineer, look, man, I want a card. I want a card that connects to this to to, to this payment system. And he and the, he designs this card for me, and then you have to duplicate the cards. Copy a bunch of the, the same cards. Now I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a good like I'm gonna need a good like ten. I'm gonna need look. I'm gonna need like I'm gonna need a good like fifty sixty thousand of these cards. To design a good sixty thousand cards will cost me maybe three hundred thousand dollars cheap. Not expensive. Cards don't cost that much. They only cost a couple bucks to make. So to make sixty thousand cards will cost me a good three hundred thousand dollars maybe in cost for sixty thousand extras. We have to design all those cards and then the, the we, and then what? When when the, when the people are seeing the actors go to Swiss and they have to give all the actors their cards that way they can get paid. As I'm not paying the extras cash and not paying them check, as they can lose their checks and they can lose their their cash. No one pays anyone cash these days, and no one pays anyone check. No, everyone pays everyone direct deposit. I'm gonna have something. I'm putting 600k towards my what? Towards my payment system. Obviously, for my payment system, I'm also gonna put money towards the extra payment system. Something advanced. 600k is very very high tech guys you look at some advanced where the extras have this card they scan the machine and the money gets deposited into bank to, uh, um, money deposited you know what i'm saying and you, they get their nice 180 bucks so that the people give them the card and they don't they sign up online or something like that they give them this card they sign up they do they sign up quickly online the card is now active and whenever they scan the thing they get their 180 bucks in their card you see what i'm saying they got their 180 bucks in their card. Something something like that. Simple. That way it's easy for everyone. And you don't have to you I, I don't have to worry about millions of cash getting lost. Because you're looking, I'm handling for the extras, you're looking at like a 35 million dollar budget. You don't you never have what? You never have what? Millions of dollars worth of checks lying around. No, that shit can get stolen <laughs> easily. And you never have millions of dollars of you never have you never have what, I don't know, nine hundred thousand million dollars worth of cash lying around. No, man, you can steal that. And you don't have a million dollars worth of checks lying around. People can steal that too. That's why the best way to pay them is direct deposit with a card. That way you don't have to worry about what? People losing their their money and all that stuff. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? As if, as if, if the extras lose their money, they, you have to pay them because they sign a contract. As the extras are also going to be signing contracts for a movie too. The, the, they, they sign a contract. And the contract will say is, we will, our scholarships will not provide you with food or drinks. But they'll compensate. They'll pay you $180 for every working day. You, the deal is you get 180 bucks for every worker day, and the extras sign their nice deals too. As a contract, the extras are signing are nice contracts, man. As if you work for one week, you make a thousand bucks for yourself. It's a nice paycheck, man. A nine to five job salary, yeah, it's a nice paycheck. Yeah, man. How's up, Pete Josh? Like, holy shit, I even know. I don't have to worry about the extras slacking off. Because you're paying them their 180 bucks, they're gonna the act, even the extras are gonna work their asses off. They're gonna work hard for me, because they're they're making a nice 180 bucks every day. It's a nice paycheck, man. It's a nine to five job salary, guys. 180 bucks a day. If you make 180 bucks a day, that's like a fifty thousand dollar salary. Fifty five thousand dollar salary around there. Fifty thousand dollar salary a day. That's a nine to five job salary. Yeah, it's a nice paycheck. That's why the extras are even gonna work hard for me. I would love to feed the extras, but I can't feed them, guys. I can't. I, I can afford it, obviously, but it, it's going to affect it. I can afford it, but for me to afford it, I have to put an extra, like, $10 million in the budget, obviously. And they're going to stall production because, like, 30,000 people, you're looking at a huge line. Like, a huge line. It's gonna, like, I can't feed them. It's impossible. It's too much people. Even if there's 5,000 people, you're looking at a huge line. It's too big. You, they have to bring their own lunch. I can't feed them. I don't have time to, 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 to wait around to wait for them to eat. No. I'm only giving the actors and Peter Jackson a two-hour window, and after the two hours, it is t it is time to to work. Everyone signed their Peter Jackson signed his master contract. The actors signed their contracts. Everyone's entitled to work hard. You can't be slacking off. You have to work hard. Everyone has to work hard. The crewmen signed their contract. They all have to work. The cinematographers have to work. You know what I'm saying? All members of the crewmen have to work, man. Yeah, man. We they signed a contract. Yeah. And Peter Jackson will help me with those main six things. Help me sign the contracts, obviously. He'll help me sign all the actors. I guarantee you Peter Jackson was involved with the contract signings for the Lord of the Rings actors. Because he's the executive producer. I guarantee you Peter Jackson probably signed some of the Lord of the Rings actors. Because he was, he was, he was the executive producer of Lord of the Rings. 
I, said, I guarantee you when Peter Jackson signed those actors for Lord of the Rings, he had that shitty, uh, that shitty feeling in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, sorry Elijah Wood. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the Warner Bros. gave me a shitty budget. I can only pay you two three thousand dollars from per movie. But, but if the movie's success, successful, you'll get your one million dollar bonus. You know what I'm saying? But even that's nothing compared to how much the Zane Zackers are making. It's a shitty contract compared to how much uh, the, the Zane Zackers are making. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas when Peter Jackson signed, helps me sign the actors for Zane, he will not have that shitty feeling because I gave them I gave, I gave them the deal of a lifetime. I paid all the ma my major stars are consistent millions. They're 8.9, 7.8, Even Peter Jackson was shocked. Like, holy shit, I even your company bulls out of the water. You're, the, the, you're pay, the actors, the amount of money you're paying the actors for Zanes blows how much, blows the amount of, blows how much, how, how man, the, yeah, my, my cast, my cast got shit, my cast got peanuts for Lord of the Rings, and all, all your, all your stars are making their nice millions, you're, you're giving them a piece of the profits, their nice five million, six, seven, eight, nine, ten million dollars worth of royalties, yeah, they're, they're, they are, they, they sign a fat deal, they're, they're, they're gonna what, they're gonna what? They're gonna they're, 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 they're gonna work harder for you, Ivan. Yeah, man. They're gonna work harder for you, Ivan. Yeah, they're gonna work harder for Peter Jackson. And Peter Jackson won't have that shitty feeling, even though Peter Jackson's making his three hundred million dollars plus. He will not have that shitty pity. He will not feel pity for the actors because he knows the actors are well taken care of. Yeah, Ivan took took good care of the actors. They're all gonna make their nice millions. They're they're they're, 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 they're gonna benefit. I've, I I benefit off my three hundred plus million dollars. The actors benefit making their making making their making their millions. You see what I'm saying? And you, and you Ivan gave them a small piece of the pie. And so they're all everyone's happy, obviously. And the crewmen got to one thousand dollars, they're all happy. Everyone worked hard for Peter Jackson. Where Moro took hard for Peter Jackson because I gave War Motor a good deal. He's getting his nice five million royalties and his one point six five million dollars for the for for, for, for for as an assistant director, which is a nice paycheck, obviously. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and Peter Jackson will help me co-write the script. The last hope for Zane is script. And John Favreau and Dave Filoni, I want them to help me. I could have the Philip woman help me if I want to, but I don't need any more co-writers. Like, Peter Jackson will tell me, I have not, I, I have not, you can hire Frank. I can have Philip help you if you want. Me and Philip can help you. I know, Peter, I don't need Philip. You know what I'm saying? Me, I, your brilliant mind's more than enough. You wrote the Lord of the Rings screenplay, Peter. There's no excuse. You can easily help me, obviously. No, I have not helped you. Yeah, you wrote fucking Lord of the Rings, a fucking masterpiece of a script. I want you doing that the same thing for Xanus. Obviously, and help me write the script, obviously. And all we have to do is just follow the book and add some details and scenes, obviously, and you will get you'll get a masterpiece of a script because Xanus is a masterpiece. Peter Jackson, we, I mean, all, we don't have to change much in your book. All we have to do is just follow your story. We can change a, like I don't know, twenty percent, thirty percent of details in your book. Add more scenes, add more dots, make the story more interesting. But if you follow your book, Ivan, you're looking at a massive of a story. Yeah, you're looking at an amazing story. You know what I'm saying? And you also have John Favreau and Dave Filoni's brilliant minds. They wrote Mandalorian, they're going to help me write Zanus too. They're going to help me out a lot, man. Yeah, man. And because I paid John Favreau, because Jeff, John Favreau and Dave Filoni signed a massive contract... They, they got their $15 million signing bonus, $34 million bonus, the rich Louis salary, two fifty thousand dollars bonus. I gave them 0.1, 0.2%, which is like $30 million and like $65, $7 million in royalties. John Favre and Lee are going to work their ass off because they know they're going to strike it rich. They're gonna, when I mean work their ass off, guys, they're going to work their asses off, guys. You're going to see them working hard in the office, making the business calls. You're going to see them working hard, helping me write the script. You know what I'm saying? But I told you, we're going to be doing slack work, me and Peter Jackson. We're only going to work on a script for two and a half hours every day, man. Slack work, man. Okay, Peter, we're only going to work on a script for two and a half hours a day, and that's it. You're off after that. We get two 50-minute breaks. We work on a script for two and a half hours, which is slack work. And then at 12 o'clock, everyone eats their lunch. And, then, and then in the afternoon, we do the concert arts for three and a half hours with John Howe and Alan Lee and all them. And, and the concert with Drew Pennywise the Clown. They hang up the pictures, and me and Peter Jackson discuss what pictures we like best. For Eratat, Ephesus, for Fool, Morale, Bo, you know what I'm saying? Um, Darius, Bass, Bass, the Eagles, the Crows, and then the Lands, the Wobbling, yeah. The weapons, the customs of the Northern Zealands, we discuss what pictures we like. 
and, and for three and a half hours, and at five o'clock, everyone's done, everyone goes home, and all Peter Jackson has to do is dedicate a good hour, hour to an hour and a half of his time, and take his notes to Grand Motor And because he's getting his nice, he got his nice 10 mil bonus, and he knows he's going to make his, what, his 200 plus million dollars in royalties, he'll work hard. He will work his ass off, Peter Jackson. He won't slack off. What I mean, work hard, guys. I mean, he will, he will pour his, uh, he will, he will pour his blood, sweat, and tears into my movie, man. He's gonna work hard because he's getting his rich, his rich salary, man. He'll work hard. So even days when he's tired and he's stressed out, he'll still work hard because he, 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 he knows he's gonna make that money, man. He knows he's gonna benefit off, and he, he doesn't want to fuck up my movie either. Because okay, Ivan wrote a masterpiece. I don't, I don't want to fuck up Ivan's masterpiece. Ivan, don't worry, but I won't fuck up your movie. You know what I'm saying? I'll work hard. I won't wing it. I will, I'll listen to you. I'll take my notes. With Grand Molitor, I will do the concerts with you. I will study my scripts, study my notes, Ivan. Don't worry, Ivan. John Fowler, Ivan, don't worry, about it, but I'm going to study Peter Jackson's notes. I'll help him out during production. I'll work my ass off, Ivan. Trust me, Ivan, we won't ruin your movie, man. We're going to work hard for you. Thank you, guys. And because I pay him a lot of money, I don't have to worry about them slacking off. They're going to work hard because I pay him a lot of money. Some Zaire? Peter Jackson will be stressed out, obviously, during the uh, nine months of filming because he's looking at plus one tiers. But it, uh, the actors will be stressed out. Me and Vigil will be stressed out. But we're all going to work hard because we all we all know we're going to we're going to make a lot of money afterwards. You know what I'm saying, yeah. The actors know the the actors are getting a nice bi weekly check. They know they're going to make their millions off the off the royalties. Peter Jackson knows he's going to make his two hundred plus million dollars off the royalties. John Favreau and Dave Filoni know they're going to make their seventy. 35 40 million dollars of the royalties and they're gonna work hard because they're gonna they're gonna they're, they're gonna get a nice check and so they're gonna work they're gonna pour their heart and soul into the movie well i mean guys what i mean these guys are gonna work hard i mean they're really really gonna work hard much harder than even how much these actors these people work in hollywood because the crew in hollywood gets shitty money as you can only imagine how much harder they are the crew are gonna work for me for lord of the rings you know what i'm saying peter jackson's gonna work much harder for me than how much money they did for lord of the rings you know what i'm saying John Favreau and Dave are gonna are gonna work much harder for me than what they even do in Mandalorian. Because Mandalorian, they're not making as much money. John Favreau probably only makes ten, twelve million dollars a year for Mandalorian, and Dave Filoni probably makes three million a year. And yet they're making way more for my company. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. They're gonna work hard. They won't slack off. You see what I'm saying? He'll work hard. Peter Jackson will not slack off from my movie. He'll work hard. You're gonna see VJ working your ass off, and you're gonna see VJ in the um. I don't, I don't when a night. When, you're gonna see the third year when Peter Jackson's preparing. You're gonna see him working hard with my seven team. Okay, did this come in? Did this come in? He's gonna work hard, man. And you're gonna see scenes. You're gonna see Peter. He's in his trailer. He's going over his notes, like every day. Yeah, he's, he 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 listened to me obviously because I what I paid him a lot of money. I blessed him obviously. He's gonna make. He knows he's gonna make his three hundred plus million dollars. You know what I'm saying? He knows I'm I'm spoiling him with a once with, with once a month parties, a luxury buffet during the third year. He'll work hard, man. Three beers. He'll work hard. He won't slack off. The crew will work hard. You're gonna see how you're gonna see how you're gonna see how focused and determined the crewmen are. You're gonna see the the, the construction crewmen pounding the hammers. Holy shit! These guys are working hard for Ivan Zoe. You compare the, you compare the crewmen in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, even though Lord of the Rings crewmen work hard, they they don't they don't seem as invested in, in Lord of the Rings compared to Ivan Zoe. Uh, no, because they got their shitty money. They got their $30,000. They worked hard, obviously, because they kind of contract. But if you think they worked hard for Lord of the Rings, they're going to work even hard, double harder for me. Because I, I, they're, they're making way more money. Money talks. The more money you pay them, the harder the work. The, more, the harder the work. The less money you pay them, the less harder the work. You know what I'm saying? The less money you make, the less harder the work. Yeah. That's why Peter Jackson will pour his his heart and soul into the movie project. He's gonna really, really help me write that script, man. John Favreau and Filoni are okay. I'm gonna tell you, Peter, John, Dave, Zane's is my fucking baby. You know what I'm saying? I wrote I wrote this amazing story. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a this is a this 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 movie is precious to me. Like we need to work really hard and 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 write an amazing script. And me and I don't know me and VJ me me Peter Jackson and John Favreau we write this like amazing script together. I don't know the, the day the day happens the script the script is the script is now finished. You're probably looking at like a 500, 450 page script for Zanus. 
something long, something long with Lord of the Rings. Because I'm actually following a good like 80% what's in the book. Whereas Peter Jackson did not follow 80% of Lord of the Rings. No, he only followed like 70% of the book, 20% of the book. You know what I'm saying? In other words, Lord of the Rings was pretty much Peter Jackson's interpretation of Jared Tolkien's story. He was faithful to the concepts and the themes and the DNA of, the, of Lord of the Rings' book, obviously, for all the Sworn the Ring. But it was Peter Jackson's interpretation of, 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 of Lord of the Rings, pretty much, right? As the book is a lot different than the movie, right? And, and this, the, the, the Lord of the Rings screenplay I heard was about... Yeah, the Lord of the Rings screenplay was about what? 330, 40 pages, maybe, for the three movies? For Zanish, you're looking at like a 450 page screenplay something long man 400 pages 400 plus easily a 400 plus screenplay for uh, Zane it's looking at a long screenplay I'm going to tell Peter, Peter when we write the three volumes we don't write the whole thing together we split it into three okay once we finish volume one you say end of volume one obviously and then you, when we start volume two it's a, it's a different file just like even though Lord of the Rings is, is, is what is one story the movie it was divided into three movies same, it's going to be the same thing for Zanus. One story, but divided into three movies. You have Last of Zanus Volume 1, Last of Zanus Volume 2, and Last of Zanus Volume 3. I might come up with titles for the three movies, but I can't think of a better title than, than that. I can't think of a good title for the three volumes. Even pre Justin and Ivan, you're right. I can't think of a good title for, for, for any of the volumes. Yeah, I think it's best we just call it Last of Zanus Volume 1, Last of Zanus Volume 2, Last of Zanus Volume 3. Cause I can't picture I can't picture a, 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 a good name for any for any of the volumes. I really yes I can't picture a good title for volume two. I can't picture a good title for volume three. I can't picture a good title for volume one. That's why I, I might not have titles, but I might come up with titles for the movies. We'll see what happens. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, Peter Johnson will ask you, Ivan, how much money you give me for my movie, Ivan? Now, I'll give you, uh, Peter, how does 980 million sound? He's like, what? Say that again, Ivan, like 980 million dollars. Like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. You're giving me 980 million dollars for this. Ivan, I don't have to worry about running out of money. Yeah. How does 30 million towards Sepulting sound? 37 million dollars towards a costume's arm and weapons and machine for the mass sound? How does a 35 million dollar budget for the extra sound? And how does like a ten million dollar budget sound for the IMAX cameras? I, I'm gonna rent the I'm gonna rent the best ten IMAX cam film IMAX cameras in Hollywood for the movie and the best equipment for the cameras, the best drones, three of the best drones, the best gliding moving equipment, the best gliding stands for the cameras. Yeah, you know the camera stands that move and for for, for the big ones moves. Yeah, I'm gonna rent the best stuff for that man for the war for the nice high shot footage for the for the drones. Yeah, man, You're looking at beautiful cinematography for for Zanus. Because the IMAX cameras, you get the beautiful wide shot for your movie. They got something top notch, yeah, man. But you're like, holy shit, I have your copy blows whole out of the water, man. Yeah. You're giving me a, you're giving me an unlimited budget for everything. With the costumes, armor, and weapons, the machine for the mask, the extras, 60,000 extras, the set building. Yeah, man. Build big sets, man. The one acre city, one and a half acre city, 0 0.8 acre forest. Nice sets I'm going to build for in, in the studio, too. Unheard of sets. Yeah, man. A one-acre city for, for the ancient Glade city, like Moria. Huge. Imagine applying the special effects towards, like, a one-acre uh, um, a one acre ancient Gilead city uh, in ancient Gilead city. Look at something unheard of. Better than even Moria and Lord of the Rings. As though for Lord of, Lord of the Rings, they built some small set for Moria. And yet, it looked amazing on, on the movie. I was well, imagine me building like a one acre city for the ancient Gilead city. They build these pillars, the 5,000 Sakians and Takis all are in there. They build all the rooms, the, all the rooms, and the room where he feasts and sleeps. Things, 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 something like the rooms in Moria, the rooms like that with cobwebs and all that stuff and, and skeletons. Yeah, it's an ancient old city. And he feasts and sleeps there. Yeah. Something even better than Moria. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. There's something crazy. End this video soon, guys. I have a couple minutes left on my phone. Yeah, but look, you look at something crazy. For the, uh... For my movie, man. 
And Peter Jackson and Gibson know what I'm talking about. Can, and you will know what I'm talking about. You can see if you're, if you're, you know how top match my Zayn's will be. You're looking at like an 8K world. Something better than Avatar because the world looks natural. Horror, three times scarier than the beings in Lord of the Rings. And Pennywise a clown. Action scenes is better than the Helm's Eat battle. And Matrix, yeah, man. Look at something unheard of for the, for, for the war, for the battle sequences, and in, in the caverns, and then and with, with, Tac with Tacitonius. Cassius or 50 men and, Feast and uh, for Fulness Wolves. The war in the beginning with Tacius and Eritat. You're looking at unheard of action sequences. The war in the end. The epic grand scale war in the end. Think something like two times more grand and epic than Helm's Deep for the war in the end. Tacius and his army fighting the, the Eritat and his demon wolves. So scary, you guys are going to feel for me and the man. You might even cry. That's how scary Eritat is. You might cry, man. You might cry for me and the men. All the Zayn's actors in the and, and for the one, one you see Eretet on the screen, and the demon demon beings are the, the walking devils, guys. That's why I can't see Zayn's. That's why I can't see Lord of the Rings topping Zayn's, but Zayn's will top it by a slim margin. The end of the video off here. Um. Yeah, the end of the video off here. There, there, there might be some critics. Who like Lord of the Rings better than, than, than Zane as always? I highly doubt though, because I'm acting and Zane's is a better story. You know what I'm saying? Some of the directors in Hollywood might, might like Lord of the Rings better than, uh, than the, my Zane's movie. And some of you Lord of the Rings nerds on Lord of the Rings Reddit might like Jared Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy better than my Zane's trilogy. I highly doubt though, because Lord of the Rings is a drag to read. And it's a bit boring, you know what I'm saying? Whereas my book is not boring. My book is, is, is fresh, it's very interesting, you're hooked when you read it. Whereas Lord of the Rings, you're only hooked in some sections, and after that, it's a drag to read, and you're bored for, 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 for a couple chapters, and it gets a little bit interesting, and you're bored again, you see what I'm saying here? Because Jari Tolkien is, was criticized for his dry, his dry writing, his dry writing, you know? his book is known for being a bit boring. Even though everyone acknowledges it's a masterpiece, it is known for being a bit dry and boring, you see what I'm saying here? That's my point. But Lord, Jari Tolkien wrote a masterpiece. There's a reason why the movies were fucking amazing, because Jari Tolkien wrote a masterpiece. Uh, duh, he wrote a masterpiece, obviously. But it's not as good as Zanus, guys. I'm going to keep saying this. Zan Lord of the Rings is not as good as Zanus. Zanus is a better masterpiece than Lord of the Rings. It's a f the story's deeper. Tactics and agony at the end of the movie because when Eritan is demon, 25,000 demon army approaching the walls. I can't picture Zanus and Lord of the Rings topping the story. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm fucking tired. I'm going to upload this video in a couple hours from now. and I'm going to watch it on my TV before you guys, obviously. And I'll upload it around like 7 o'clock when the Seth Homies uh, reconnect the internet network. And you guys will enjoy the show. This is Ivan O'Meara. I am signing out. Peace.